Prosecutors in the George Floyd murder case are asking the Minnesota Court of Appeals to step in and rejoin the four former Minneapolis police officers charged in Floyd's death in one trial. Now, in this unusual move, the state argues the district court judge violated the law and his decision is putting the public's health at risk during the pandemic. Paul Bloom with more tonight, including reaction from Floyd's family. If you are an intelligent and Adult, you would obviously have COVID concerns. George Floyd's uncle may live several hundred miles away in South Dakota, but Selwyn Jones is keeping close tabs on the criminal justice system in relation to his nephew's deadly arrest. I'm just telling you, Paul, right now in my mind, seeing is believing, my brother. Yeah. And uh, seeing is believing. Jones was disgusted when he saw Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer whose knee to the back of Floyd's neck sparked global outrage, make bail, and then be allowed to live outside Minnesota while awaiting his murder trial. Me being a, uh, a black man, I've seen a lot of things happen in this world. And one thing I have never seen is somebody to get out on bond and be able to leave the state that they were in, especially uh, in a situation with the charges that he has against them. As for the latest courthouse drama, Jones believes there should be just a single trial with all four defendants. They committed the crime together, why not be tried together? He's not sure what will happen with the state's efforts to get the case rejoined and moved to the summer because of public health worries around COVID. One local criminal defense attorney not connected to the Floyd proceedings tells me he anticipates the Court of Appeals will quickly schedule oral arguments on the matter with Chauvin's current March 8th trial date fast approaching. There's going to be all sorts of twists and turns in this thing. And when they're actually going to stand in front of a jury, who knows? And George Floyd's uncle went on to tell me realistically he doesn't see a trial in this case beginning for months. But told me once it does, he and his family will be here in Minneapolis each and every day explaining that people need to see our faces. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.